Hello everyone, Ted Fletcher with FMS. Here I want to show you uh, what you could potentially do if you get locked out of the web interface of a Moxa M gate. So on the Moxa M gates, if I go and pull one up here, you can see the interface pulls up from this MB6060-16. Uh, so here I'm going to put in my username and password, go to home. So if you ever want run into an issue where someone blocks the web interface you can use the mx config program to unlock the device uh, if the interface is locked in order to do that you have to go to system management on the left go down to miscellaneous settings left click on that left click on console settings and then here you'll see http and https console which would be the web interface you can actually set it to disable it that way people couldn't get into the device hit submit I'm just going to put a ping on it so we can see how long it takes before it goes down and then back up. So we got a ping going on that. I'm going to tell it to restart. I'm going to bring my command prompt back up and around. So you can see that the mox itself is restarting. Usually you get a couple timeouts. There it goes. Now it's replying back. Now if I tried to hit the web interface, you would see in the upper corner of the browser tab, it's just searching. But it can't get to the web interface because it's been disabled. So in order to fix that, we're going to come down to MX config. Yes. Put in your username and password that you configured for MX config. So here you can go about it one of two ways. If you already have a uh, profile, created for that subnet of Moxa devices. You can go to open profile, select it out that way. I'm gonna let this load. All right, and there's my 3616 that populated down at the bottom. If you don't have a pre-populated list, you can use the search feature and sniff out a particular subnet of devices and then save that in case you ever have to go back to them. So here I'm gonna left click on the MB3660-16. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna to go to unlock. So here you'd have to know the administrator um, username and password. Mine is admin. I'll put in my password. Tell it to unlock. If you did it correctly, you'll see a success under the status and it'll let you know when the operation is finished. So I'm going to click on OK. Click on close. Now I'm going to go back to the same Moxa. Now we can see we have a blue unlocked uh, padlock. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to this multiple function settings left click on that. When this window opens, you just come down to manage interface. And here you can see by default, it turns everything back on. So I'm just gonna deselect that one, but this will re-enable the HTTP port 80 and HTTPS, the default port 443 for the web interface. I'm gonna click on apply. We can see it successfully updated that. I'm gonna click on okay. I'm gonna click on close. I'm going to close this. The Moxa will reboot when you make those setting changes. So there we got one timeout. Probably get one more. And it's back replying. So now if I go back and hit the web interface for this Moxa, it should come right up. And there it is. So if you ever run into an issue to where you cannot get into the web interface of a Moxa device, and depending on what model of mGate it is, uh, MX Config is a useful tool as long as you know the proper username and password to log into that Moxa and make those changes. So, hope this was helpful, and hope you have a good day. Thank you.